Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all how you can rename apps on iPhone and iPad. As you can see on my screen over here, my Instagram has been renamed to IG with a camera emoji, and my Snapchat app has been renamed to Snap with a ghost emoji. Now, if I go ahead and open the app, you can see that it opens up the exact same way as it would have if my app was not renamed. You can do this to any app on your device. So I went ahead and changed my names back for Instagram and Snapchat, and I'm going to be showing you how to rename the apps right now. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you need to do is, if you haven't already, you need to install an app called Shortcuts. This app will allow us to rename all other apps on our device. I will leave the link to download this app in my description below. Now when you open the Shortcuts app, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new shortcut. To do this, click the plus button at the top right corner. Then, at the second tab, you can see that there is a button that says Open App. If that's not showing up for you, you can go ahead and search for Open App using the search tab right over here. And if you search for Open App, then it should be the very first tab that pops up under Scripting. Now, once you go ahead and click on Open App, you get taken to a page that looks something like this. From here, you need to click the button that says App next to Open at the top tab. Go ahead and click that. When you click that, every single app on your device is now going to be listed. Go ahead and search for the app that you want to rename. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and use Instagram as an example again, like I did in the beginning. So go ahead and search for the app and then go ahead and select it. So now at the top, it should say open and then the name of the app that you've selected along with the icon. So for me, it says open Instagram. Now from here, at the top right corner, next to the X button, there should be a blue circle that has three lines. Go ahead and click that. Now your screen should look something like this. And then at the top, there's a tab that says Add to Home Screen. Go ahead and click that button. Now this is the part where you decide the name of your app. Where it says Home Screen Name and Icon, at that tab over there, go ahead and rename your app to what you want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and do IG with the camera emoji again just like that, because IG is short for Instagram. What you can do next is go ahead and change the icon. If you go ahead and choose a shortcut now, then it will add to your home screen with this default icon being the icon. Now, I want it to look like the Instagram app. So what you can do is you can go ahead and search for your app's icon and then add that as the image. To change your image, simply go ahead and click on the icon next to the part where you renamed under the same home screen name and icon section. And then click on the button that says choose photo if you're choosing an image of the icon or you can go ahead and take photo or choose something from your files when you do that you'll be taken to all your photos and i'm going to go ahead and use the instagram icon image that i found then go ahead and click choose at the bottom right corner and it will set your icon to be that image after that at the top right corner go ahead and click add after that you get taken back to your home screen and your shortcut that you just created should be added to the last open tab on your screen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove Instagram from my home screen, as you can see right over here, so that it just gets hidden in the app library. Now, since I have so many tabs, I'm simply going to go ahead and search for my shortcut instead of trying to find it. So as you can see, if I search for IG, my shortcut comes up, then you can simply drag your app and place it in the location that you want it. Your app has now been renamed to something else on your device. And if I go ahead and open the app, you can see that it opens up the exact same way as it did in the beginning of the video and as it did before I renamed the app. The only difference is that at the top, it says new shortcut shortcuts. That is one thing that you will have to deal with whenever you open the app after you have it renamed. But apart from that, your entire app should work completely fine and smoothly. To delete your shortcut or your renamed app, you can simply hold it and click delete bookmark as you can see right over here. So that is about it for this video. There are quite a few steps to renaming apps on your iOS device. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I'll make sure to answer them as soon as I can. But apart from that, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time.